Hey everyone, what's up? Mirai here with a very quick, very quick video before these servers shut down in eight minutes. So if you saw the last video, I showed off that you could have a keyboard overlay that read the keys that you were pressing and you were able to then display them on the screen. And that was very cool, but I wanted to take it a step further. So I have this mouse overlay that I created and when I click and hold the buttons, they show up like they should. Now we're doing voice on this one because it does need a little bit of explanation on what's happening here. Now uh, I'll just go through the buttons real fast. We've got mouse wheel up if she wants to cast something and mouse wheel down and then middle mouse button. Nothing's bound to that. What happens in the inside here is that this mouse has uh, two extra buttons that are able to be bound to whatever. So this inside silver button here is bound to shift alt R, which is the default co uh, key combination for repeater, right? So when I hit it and I press it, you can also see that it shows up on the keyboard overlay as well, which I think is kind of cool. So that's my repeater toggle, which I'm actually going to change here shortly. This one on the inside is an invite. Shift alt I is the default for inviting through IS Boxer, and that's what I have this bound to. You can't see the I, obviously it's over here somewhere on the keyboard. Then there's a thumb wheel here. If you're not um, if you're not really understanding this, it's not the best picture of the thumb wheel, but feel free to look up the mouse online. It's a cyborg or mad cats MMO7 mouse. It's very expensive. It comes with cheap switches. It's a very unique mouse, but uh, I do like it. So, but it's got this thumb wheel here, and I can spin it to the right, and I can spin it to the left. It's not a button. It's just a cylinder that I can spin left or right. Now, there's a button here as well that I consider a thumb button, but it's also, this is the side view of the mouse, it's also right here. So when I press that, both of them highlight. I obviously made it happen that way. Uh, this is a button. This is a button. This, um, yeah, this is a button here. We've also got a top view and a side view of it. And then this is auto run, which I don't want to run off the edge. So those are there as well. Now there's this button in the middle here on the side view, and it is what Mad Cats calls a 5D button. And it really threw me off at first. I was like, a 5D, what's, what's 5D? Five dimensional? How does that work? But it's actually, um, I think we all know what D stands for, right? It's directional, not dimensional. So uh, it's a button itself, and there's a little, highlight of that. But then it's also up, left, right, down. And that's pretty much how I handle my uh, slave movement, as well as uh, one of my interact with target binds that I've got. I'm not going to go over bindings. There's really, that's a whole other video, I'm sure. And uh, what do we have here? Just a quick look. I just kind of broke everything up. In Photoshop, I masked everything out. And uh, I don't know, this isn't a Photoshop tutorial, but just so you can see what happens here. There's some of that, and here's the keyboard keys. Nothing special. I mean, it's Photoshop. I don't know what to tell you. It's Photoshop. What else do we have here? We've got um, some of the custom stuff here. We've got the keyboard overlay custom template, which I will be making a video about when I release it. I don't know. I, I understand it's just the U.S. layout. I might, I might help out some of the some of you European folks uh, with your Alt GR keys and your. I think it's like a three quarter shift, and you've got a slash over here. I don't know. I might, I might release like a European version as well. No promises on that. No promises on that. We've got four minutes left to talk about this. So. There's that. I need a special ISS file. This is an interspace script file, which is used to read. This is for the keyboard. And this is for the mouse overlay. Um, some custom stuff here for the, for the mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down. Not sure how interesting it is, but I just figured I'd give a quick look. Pause the video if you feel the need to get a better look at this. So. There's all of that. Is there anything else? Anything else? We've got um, Ice Boxer. If I can. 
Yeah, so originally in the uh, other video, I had broken everything up into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 menus. There were 11 menus to create this overlay. But with a custom template, it's just one. It's just one single um, template with 31 buttons. So there's that. The mouse overlay is 20 buttons. It's actually 19, but I use a... Never mind, it's technical. It's technical. I needed a special button to block everything else because uh, doing some smoke and mirror stuff here. But uh, these are the buttons for the mouse and where are the buttons for the keyboard? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, there's <laughs> you'll get a better look at this once I release all this uh, keyboard stuff. So hopefully whoever wants to use it will be able to. And um, I think that's it. Just a quick video, just showing off some uh, keyboard overlay and mouse overlay stuff, and very cool, very cool stuff. So uh, hopefully someone will find this useful in the future after I release it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Arai.